how to make or how I made an entryway built-in. That doubles as a dog station. Part two. Let's get into it. We'll kick off part two with the bench portion of the built-in, starting with the bench top. I rough cut three planks of five quarter walnut down to just longer than the final bench dimensions. Then got to squaring them. before laminating the trio together into the bench top. Once the glue cured, I trimmed it down to size. Then did the first pass of rough sanding to tidy up the seams. With the bench top in rough shape, I set about using Starbond superglue to fill a few knot caused gaps. Starbond sent me a few of their glues to test out and comment on. For the knots, I used their medium thick black superglue. I filled each knot with the glue. Then used the accelerator to get the quick epoxy-like cure. In hindsight, I should have done a few layers of glue, then accelerator, then glue, then accelerator to really get the epoxy quick cure, but I'm super pleased with the final fill of these knots. If you have a project in need of some super glue and want to help support the channel at the same time, use the link in the description below to check out Starbond's super glue collection. Once the cure set, I tidied up the knots and gave the bench top a finishing level sand down. Then turn towards the bench legs, again squaring pieces of 5 quarter walnut to laminate together for a thicker, stronger leg. After the glue cured, I trimmed the legs to about 1 and 3 quarter inches by 1 and 3 quarter inches. Then cut them down to the right height, about 19 and a half inches. Once I had a set of identical rough legs, I used the crosscut sled to cut a recess to fit the bench top between the two legs on one side. On the other, it would be anchored to the corner unit from part one. With those pieces done, I could pull and execute the exact dimensions for the skirt that would connect the two legs as well as support the bench top. Then, after a little workbench math, I marked and cut the tenons into either side of the skirt piece. With those done, I could do a little more math and determine the placement of the half lap recess in the skirt that supports the cross beam that runs the length of the bench and connects to the anchor on the other side at the corner unit.
I cut a mirroring half lap into the cross beam. Then turn to the mortises on the legs to fit the skirt tenons. With a snug fit, I turned to the drawer box, cutting the frame pieces from walnut veneer ply core ply, then joining them together with simple pocket holes. After that, I ironed on the banding to tidy up the drawer box edges. Then trim the overhang. After that, I took the legs back to the table saw to cut a recess large enough for the drawer box to sit in. With all those joints cut, I rounded over the legs. The last piece of the bench's structural puzzle was a piece of wood cut to the same length as the width of the bench top with a tongue cut into it to meet a groove I cut in the bottom of the bench top. With the puzzle pieces assembled, I gave them each a finishing level sand down. before gluing the joints together. Once the glue cured, I gave the pieces a few layers of tongue oil to finish them. Then pre-drilled some countersinks into the anchor piece. Using some mounting jigs, I lined the bench up next to the corner unit. Slid the mount piece into the groove of the bench top, made sure the cross beam was in place to be supported, and anchored the mount piece to the corner unit. Then, I anchored the drawer box to the legs and the corner unit as well. With the basic framework installed, I turned to the actual doggy drawer, cutting yet another set of puzzle pieces from quarter inch and three quarter inch ply.
then cutting rabbits in each so they could interlock. Next, I cut the top panels that would hold the dog food bowls after I used a router and a circle cutting jig to cut holes just large enough for each bowl. To beef up the structural integrity of the bowl drawer and to provide a surface to mount the drawer front to, I whipped up a couple of these L-shaped brackets. With the pieces assembled, I glued and screwed the crazy contraption together. To add a fun little pop of color, I used exterior paint to finish the drawer in a terracotta. While that dried, I turned to the drawer front, cutting another piece of walnut veneered ply down to size. Then, using some walnut offcuts, cut the edge banding. I used Starbond's medium thickness clear superglue to bind the banding to the edges. Again, I was super happy with how quickly and cleanly this bond was created. Once the glue cured, I sanded the piece down with just a high grit paper. Then gave it the same tongue oil finish. With that dry, I cut two recesses for the pleather straps that would serve as the drawer handles. To secure the leather, I used Starbond clear thick super glue and the accelerator to expedite the cure. Within seconds, I had a strong bond and could move on to anchoring the drawer front to the drawer. Once the drawer was done, I got to installing the drawer tracks. Then put the food bowls in the rightful homes, and that's a wrap. Until next time.